Wow, so this is easily the worst first listen I've had all year. But before I talk about the album, you know, I, I've never liked I Spice as a rapper at all. Um, I like a lot of the appeal, obviously, from her music is sex appeal, obviously, you know. People like the music videos. I've never really been a person that's been like that. I don't even really find her that attractive. Honestly, I I really don't find her attractive at all, so I've never really got that appeal. So to me, I'm listening to it, and I'm like, this is trash. Like, why, why are people listening to this? I don't like the Munch song. I thought that was awful, and whenever I gave this album, you know, I listened to it because... You know, it's a hobby. I, I do album reviews, so I tend to, I try to listen to all the hip-hop albums. I don't want to miss one, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've told y'all on this channel before, I want to be the Anthony Fantano of, um, of like, hip-hop. You know, I don't want to miss a single one. And I immediately regretted, like, listening to the whole thing. I wish I could get the 25 minutes of my life back. Oh, it's awful. But before I get into that... A couple days ago, I dropped a single from my album called Stussy, and I would love it if you guys would go listen to it. It's not got that many views right now, but my songs recently haven't been getting that many views, so I'm used to it. Anyway, go listen to it. It's out everywhere, Spotify, Apple Music. The only uh, thing it's on, not on is SoundCloud is because, like, I'm out of <laughs> I'm out of uploads on SoundCloud, and I'm not playing. I'm not paying for SoundCloud Go. So, but on the other side, I have a Patreon now. You know, if you guys want to go subscribe to it. It's got a Patreon, you get early access to videos, you get song snippets, you can listen to full-on songs before they drop, you know, it's just a lot of benefits you can do, you know, if you want to pay for a monthly and show your support, like, literally you can join it for a dollar and a half a month if you want to, it's fantastic, so, if you guys want to show that support, go ahead, the link to it's in the description. Back to the actual album itself, this cover alone looks trash, I think this was the cover for the Central C song, well, I don't even remember what it's called, it's awful, I don't like it, I hate it, honestly. But the actual album cover, the name of it is literally on a trash can. And also, why is this album called Y2K? Like, I noticed on Twitter that it was like kind of a trend to say it. I don't even know what it means. Like, I, I, I know that's like a... I'm pretty sure it's something to do with like the early 2000s and like something that was said during the early 2000s. That's all, exactly why I don't know what it is. Because <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't have a fully functioning brain until like 2018. And even then, I still had no idea what, what in the world Y2K means. But the album name is literally on a trash can. You, uh, I already have an idea for the thumbnail. I'm going to zoom in on the trash can. But it's it, the album is god-awful. Um, the best part of it is a Travis Scott feature that isn't even that good. I mean, it's alright. It ain't fantastic. I like the energy he brings. And honestly, the song isn't even that bad. But it's it's not good. <laughs> Um, 10 of the exact same songs over and over again. There's no differentiation. That is not a word I just said, but I just, differentiation. Yeah, I think that's a word now. I'm going to start using that. I, I've already said that a million times, and I just, I don't even notice it. I Spice is not an entertaining rapper. There's nothing unique about her. She kind of just gets on the mic and screams into it, uh, like one, two, three, A, B, C flows. That's about it. Um, she's not a good rapper. In my opinion, I don't think she ever is. I can't name you one time that I've ever heard like an Ice Spice like bar, just an outright line, you know, and I don't think anyone can because she kind of just, she's literally, and I'm not saying this because she's a girl. I'm not saying that at all. I know some people probably would think that, that like I hate it just because it's a woman and not uh, like some people are going to be like, oh, if Fabio Foreign made this album, you would like it more. No, I wouldn't. I would still hate it. <laughs> like, this is still bad. It's still a bad album. Uh, the beats all are, I mean, they're not, like, necessarily garbage, but they're literally just, they're tight beats. They sound like tight beats. The only song that has a somewhat decent beat is Thank You The Stuff, in parentheses, Fart. That's the only thing that... That's the only beat that's even somewhat enjoyable because it's like, like I don't know, I, I just you can like move your body to it a little bit, bump your shoulders to it, I don't know. I like beats like that, they're kind of like funny sounding almost. I don't know, just kind of a unique beat, I liked it. But her on that song sucks, she don't sound good at all. Who, I don't know who told her to start off a hook like that, I know why she did it, you know, TikTok, TikTok's going to take that and make a million different videos about it. 
it wasn't for in the intent of the song. It's for the stuff that you could do with that line. Still awful, and I don't think she should have done it. But this is easily the worst album I've heard all year. The Central C verse is not that good either. The Gunna verse ain't that good. Literally, I forgot he was even on the album. I was so like not paying attention to what I was listening to that I kind of just randomly tuned back in in the middle of the song. I was like, oh wait, Gunna's verse has been going on for a minute. You know, just it's just 10 of the same songs over and over again. It's not good. It's not good at all. It's a 1 out of 10. It's the worst album all year, easily.